This is Wen Yumen reporting on government-issued identification for international students. Government-issued identification, also called government-approved ID, is very useful to every foreigner who lives in the United States. You have to use something to prove who you are. We are all legal foreigners, and we need to do a lot of things with government-approved ID. For example, when you apply for a telephone, you need to show a government-approved ID with photo and your name. And when you receive your package, you have to show a government-issued ID, of course the United States government-issued ID. The easiest one is passport, all of us have one, if not, maybe a policeman wait outside right now. Passport is the most important for foreigners. It can prove who you are, no matter which country you are in and where you are from. But I don't agree to use a passport everywhere. Do not bring it with you. Keep it safe in your room after you enter a country. If you lose it, you have to go to embassy to replace it. This is all kinds of trouble for you. You have to stand in line to pay documents fees and so on. Also, the passport looks like a booklet, so it's not convenient to take it with you. Why not choose an ID just like a name card to put it in your wallet? We cannot use a foreign country's ID to prove who we are, even if it has English on the ID. It will cost you a lot of trouble to explain to policemen or other government institutions. Think about that. If you give an American policeman Chinese or Arabic bus season tickets, which have your name, photo, and birth date, with or without English, how can a normal policeman trust you that's one kind of government approved ID? Do policemen study Chinese or Arabic in order to avoid someone Chinese or Arabic giving him a bus ticket instead of a true ID? How crazy is that? You are in the United States. Even if it has English translation, how can an American policeman check it? So, having a United States government approved ID is necessary and helpful. At ELI, most of international students choose to get a driver's license. It is one kind of government approved identification, and you also can get the right to drive. You want it to be easy, but it is difficult. Nowadays, I have a driver license, but you don't know how much time I spend to get it. I need to take a bus and then transfer buses. If you are unlucky, the first bus is late. You have to wait for next bus, which is 40 minutes later. For natives, it is easy. A few things to prepare, but for foreigners, we need more. I hate the division of motor vehicle office, the DMV. Many native speakers hate it. I went to the DMV many times. All the officers know me. Every time I need to stay in line more than one hour, sometimes two hours. But you have to wait. Nobody can pass without waiting. Once I change my address, it looks very easy, just a tape on computer, one minute is enough. However, you also need to stay in the longest line, and you also need to prepare to address certificate letters, which could be bank statements or communication company bills. Normally, a bill is sent to you once a month, so you need to wait at home, checking the mailbox every day once, twice, or three times just for change address. Every time I think about my driver license test, I complain. You have to have a car and insurance card, and you also need a nice weather. If you prepare all these things well, then you can just take in a test. But actually, you cannot take all they need every time. For us foreigners, we have a few friends, most foreigners same as us. How could we borrow a car to take the test? Even if we can ask native speaker friend, a UD student, it costs the friends the whole day. How can I ask my friend to miss a day of class? 
If you sign in earlier, you maybe can do test in the morning. Who knows? The DMV officer tells me sometimes there are some guys waiting for sign up at 4 a.m. just to be the first to take the test. How ridiculous they are! On the other hand, I love the DMV. No matter how many times I need to spend time there. I finally got driver license and I also bought a car tag, but I do not want to go there anymore. Another one of the government approved identifications is also important, but it is harder to get than driver license, that is social security card. Only someone who has a job in the United States can apply for it. I have a part-time job, so I also could apply for it. It is easy to prepare the documents since most of you already have, especially an employee letter. But waiting in the Office of Social Security Administration is hard, and the Social Security Administration they work very slowly. I think cause every kind of question, different situation that people have are all solved there. The best things you can do is taking a number and sitting in the hall. It feels more human than the DMV, but actually they serve four different number at the same time. Just like the last time in SSA, I had the number A97, the screen is showing A87, so after 10 people it was my turn. But no, when A19 disappeared, it showed B12, and then A28, so you may have to wait a long time even though your number is close to one on the screen. When you get your social security number, you can apply for a credit card, buy internet services, and so on. It's just like a US citizen ID. You can do a lot of legal things. To us, the international students, the best choice to a job is UD's dining hall. When you find a part-time job, whatever washing dishes or cleaning tables, it's a job. Two weeks later, you can get the employee letter. Then you can apply for a social security number. You need to hurry up to catch the bus. And you also need to transfer buses and SSA close at 4 p.m. earlier than the DMV. I had a really bad time to apply for it, even though I had to do it if I wanted the social security number. In my opinion, I advise all CAP students who stay here more than one year to apply for one of these two government-issued IDs. It can prove who you are and give you access to better resources. Do not forget one thing. It can give you a credit record. The earlier you get this, more benefit to you. And now know what benefit it allows you. But in the future, you will see how wonderful it was that I applied for it earlier. Wen Yu Men from University of Delaware, ELI News.